Welcome. Tomas and I are back today to discuss interpreting data on a bar graph. Daphne, you promised to show me how to read the data on this bar graph. I need to know who swam the most miles. Tomas, slow down. First, we have to talk about the parts of the bar graph. This part of the graph represents the categories. In this case the categories are your friends. The numbers represent the number of miles you swam yesterday. We know this because of the title on the graph and the title next to the numbers. Okay. Let's get to it. Who swam the most miles? To find who swam the most miles we look for the bar that is the tallest. I follow the bar down and see that the tallest bar lines up with Tomas. You swam the most miles. Take that crush. How many more miles did I swim compared to crush? To solve this we will label crush's bar with how many miles he swam. His bar lines up between the 8 and 10, he swam 9 miles. I swam 10 miles because my bar lines up with 10. That's right, but you want to know how many miles you swam compared to crush. To figure this out we need to subtract the two numbers because we want to find the difference. I swam one more mile than crush. How many miles did Stella and Nigel swim combined? Combined means to put together. We need to find Stella's mile swam and put it together or add it to Nigel's miles. Stella swam 4 miles, and Nigel swam 3 miles. I combined them to get 7 miles. I swam more miles than Stella and Nigel combined. You are quite the swimmer Tomas. Daphne this bar graph sure helped us to organize the data and answer questions about who swam the most. Thank you. I can't wait to show this to Crush. You are welcome Tomas. Have a great day.